Right, this is just a quick video to show those who uh, may be trying to find a control channel for the Victorian CFA digital P25 network in the state of Victoria, of course. Um, the control channels are spaced all over the state and you possibly could hear them on the border of New South Wales and South Australia as well. I'm actually located in South Australia near the Victorian border and uh, we have a control channel very close to the border here. Um, so I'm lucky enough to be able to still monitor the Victorian CFA digital P25 network from uh, um, South Australia here. Uh, this could be the case uh, wherever you live on the border uh, surrounding Victoria but if you are unsure of what the relevant control channel is to enter into the scanner to search or scan the Victorian P25 network this is a good quick way to find out which control channel is actually relevant to your area. First you need to do is push the menu button on the side uh, then scroll down using the dial until you locate search for okay once that has been entered scroll down again until you get to edit custom push yes uh, the default setting will always be custom one so push yes using the dial again scroll down until you highlight edit search limit push yes this is one I've actually done earlier. Uh, I've already done the preset. The factory default setting is about 20 megahertz from memory. Um, just to show you how I've actually entered this in here, just simply type in the frequency 160.000, push yes. Uh, again, like I said, this one's already preset. I did this earlier today. Uh, type in 170.000, push yes. The only other thing you need to do at this point here is change the set, uh, step size, which is set step, push yes. The default setting will be auto, but I like to always change it myself. It's, it should be 12.5 kilohertz to do this search. The default setting, like I said, will be up here somewhere. In auto, what you need to do is scroll it down until 12.5 is highlighted and then push yes. At this point here, we're ready to do a quick search to find the relevant control channel for our location. So we push menu once, menu twice, and it will revert back to the screen where edit custom is highlighted. Using the dial, scroll it up until custom search has been highlighted and then push yes. Okay, on a factory default set scanner, it will show a series of numbers from one to zero. This represents the 10 uh, specific custom searches available. I've actually canceled out the ones that I'm not interested in by simply pushing the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, n uh, nine, and zero button, locking them out effectively. Um, if the scanner stops on what they call a birdie, uh, just simply scroll it using the dial to initiate the search again. Now I know for a fact that the control channel relevant for my area is 166.6125 which the scanner has now stopped on. This is a perfect example of a strong signal here, um, only using a stock uh, antenna. I've got full strength on the bar graph up here, you can see, and it shows me under the frequency here that it's a data channel. So I would write this down on a pen, well, using pen and paper, and uh, then this would be the one that I would enter into the scanner. And if you use the uh, instructions on the video that I've done earlier in regards to how to enter a you know, P25 frequency, um, you should be up and running within a couple of minutes. Uh, I wouldn't get too hung up on um, writing down other control channels that may appear especially if the bar graph uh, the strength meter is is quite small there's one showing up here at the moment here and um, i don't believe this is possibly a control channel anyway uh, i did come across one about half an hour ago which was quite a weak one now if i did have an external antenna outside and i was doing the same searches i'd possibly come across maybe one or two extra ones but like i said stick with a stock antenna then you're guaranteed to find the most powerful one relevant to your location once you start doing these searches and, and using an external antenna what you may find if you enter in the wrong control channel or a weaker one when you're in your vehicle or perhaps carrying on your hip outside if you've entered in a control channel which is not 
the closest to your location, you may actually not even receive a signal or, at all, or, or it'll be quite a weak signal. So stick with the strongest one that shows on the bar graph and you can't go wrong. If you've got any questions or queries, just give us an uh, email and I'll endeavour to try and get back to you as quick as I possibly can. And um, yeah, if you've uh, got any other comments or any other videos you'd like to see, give us an um, email and we'll see what we can do. Cheers. Thanks for watching.